What up guys, welcome to another video. Today we have the Duraflex Rocket Bunny style duck bill or duck tail they call it. Um, we just let it sit out in the sun so it's a little bit more flexible, a little bit easier to work with. But we want to show you a real quick overview of the quality of this. Um, the shape isn't the straightest thing you've ever seen, nor are the holes um, very consistent. This is kind of boogered, this one's good, this one's like kind of cracked and weird, and this one's big, and this one's bigger, and this one's a little smaller, and this one's all boogered. Uh, these are better on top, but here's the thing about this cheaper deal. The link in below if you want to order, it's 100 bucks, um, free shipping. But, Trevor, I'll show this in the back row, right here. So, with this duck bill to sit right with the shape, it doesn't follow the line of the trunk, and the rocket bunny style does. So if you think you did it right here, your duck bill is pointing basically flat, which is kind of a bummer. But we're still gonna install it, because I think it can still look good at this height with our bolt showing it's gonna have more of that like uh what would you call that what would you call this look when you have like hard rock that raw look raw look yeah which i dig i think with the single exit you got bolts showing i think it's gonna go together well especially when we get it wrapped so if you think it's gonna go on there like that i'm pretty stoked on having a style like this and we're gonna tape it right now and then Show you guys how to use the rivet nuts to hold it on which i explained in the previous video about wide body and fender flare hardware everything you need to know about it so check that i'll leave that in the description as well and at the end of this video so if you want to watch that after check it out it'll help answer some questions but let's tape it up and hopefully get it to stay like this and then we can drill our holes trevor and i just taped it up it took two of us to do it but now we're going to measure the distance right here from that to the tail light and then here on the back side from the bottom of it to the trunk so we can make sure it's somewhat even so it looks pretty straight. Taped it up, measurement's perfect, measures both same on side to side on the bottom as well, but now we have a small drill bit. Um, this duck bill is cheap, this car is cheap. These trunks are only $200 with glass, so we're just gonna send it because we're just gonna learn. Dead center as best as I can. Entering, and we're in. Second hole, pretty dead center. Nice and easy, easy does it. Light pressure, don't break a drill bit like I just did. Just finished drilling the holes a small bit. All we're doing now is making sure we're drilling holes big enough for our top bolt to go through. We drilled the small ones. We just need a little bit bigger. The size you're gonna drill in the actual duck bill is just big enough for the hardware bolt on the top, which is smaller than the hole you're gonna drill in the actual trunk. The hole in the trunk is gonna be as big as your riv nut. So make sure you don't dri drill the size you need for the riv nut in the duck build because that's gonna be too big for your hardware. There's no reason to. Just so you know, there's two separate sizes we're drilling. Be very important. They're also called nut certs, rivet nuts, but these tools for putting them in is actually harder to find than you think. I found one in town at Copper State and Bolt, but it was almost $90 with tax. There is a much better deal on Amazon, which I'll link below in the description. Order one of these tools. It comes with multiple heads for different size rivet nuts or nut certs, you would call them. So just make a simple order from the link below. You'll save money, save time. Don't rush it like I did. I had to go across town and all this stuff. So first rivet nut in. And then now we're on to the next the size drill bit you need is one quarter in the common one quarter so i'm gonna drill these holes out all bigger
right, we've almost got all of the rivet nuts in right now. And Tanner's oh. gonna show exactly how to do it. Nice and snug, not too tight. Flat on the car. And we're only squeezing about a half inch from right here. Whatever this gap is from our handle, we're only going about a half of an inch to get snug. And then you release. And then don't want to over tighten it because yeah. you don't want to over tighten it, strip it out, nothing like that. Then when you're ready and you're done, you just unscrew it. We have all of the rivet nuts installed now, all 14 of them, and we're ready to mount it. It's the next day now. We've been letting the duckbill sit in the sun, and one thing we ran into last night is the beauty washer does not lay like perfectly flat in some of these holes so I got to sand it out so it can lay flush so it can be a proper seal so we got a 60 grit sand blaster block from Ace Hardware we have 220 grit and we have 100 grit so I'm gonna do the crazy stuff kind of with the block first and then move on so got a Dremel tool we found some respirators we're gonna see if this works yeah. a little better Update uh, a couple hours later, super frustrating. Um, we don't, we just we completely scratched the beauty washers for right now because they look so big. And when you have 14 of them, it just is like, why is there so much metal on that thing in the back? Is what it just kind of looks like. So, and this, the fitment on this thing is just not working with us. So we're thinking next, we're gonna just put in the bolts only temporarily hold it on and then go try and find some bolts that could go flush and then bondo these holes and try and make this duck bill look smooth and see if we can make something out of this hundred dollar duck bill or scratch the entire thing and get something different but this corner is just one of the main issues the angle of it to get in there is just I don't know if you can tell like the bolt needs to go in there at this angle but the duckbill hole is at this angle so when you put it in like put it in like this and you pry on it and then it just breaks the fiberglass so i don't know it's just amateur hour out here and we're struggling and don't know what else to do so we'll let you guys know when we kind of figure it out we just got the duckbill on and it does not look as good as we'd hoped but let me explain something really bummed me out that kind of just set the bar for how the fitment was never going to be perfect was the fact that if you look at the holes it's so like the duck bill it's going this way right this is good but when you get in the corner this is the angle of the duck bill hole that's pre like cut out for you but the angle that the bolt has to go in is like down more so if you have any sort of washer or bolt it just binds up with the fiberglass and you basically like you can come look in this corner here how much we drilled it out how gross it is like we don't even have a beauty washer or any sort of washer in here at all and it just eats away at the top we barely got it on it's barely being held on by that bolt it's kind of a bummer and then when you come around this corner right here like this fitment down here is just gross and i mean we expected it not to be great but i think it would take a ton of bondo work and things like that like let's say we were thinking about what if we got way smaller bolts with small heads put it on bondo the whole thing and then wrap it that could go okay but then you're doing a lot of work you might as well just buy the vacrez one or whatever it's called there's a couple options um i'll leave links in the description to some other options that those kind of glue on or bolt on a little smoother or you flat out buy the original rocket bunny but i saw those are on back order for like one to two months so all in all it's a solid 50 footer you know once we get it painted it might look pretty good but it gives us a good idea and when you have this many bolts it is like attached to the beyond attached to the car it's like super solid so i don't know i guess would i recommend getting this one probably not uh I would just go with the Vaprez one or something like that, but if you really want the bolt look, let's say this is a bunk drift car, right? Then this could work. This could be a plausible application and it would look like this and you, you know, do whatever you want to it. 
but I was hoping to make this a street car before a drift car somewhat make it look presentable for some shows but I don't even know if that's possible if we're gonna leave it on here but we're gonna rock it for a couple weeks and uh, yeah so other than that I got really nothing else to say about this other than I'm trying not to be annoyed by the fitment but we'll get past it we'll make this thing look good and I appreciate you guys watching the videos we got a lot of exciting things coming still we got a lot of details so I encourage you guys to subscribe to the channel I'll see you guys in the next one later